Erin here and I'm here today with a book haul. It's been a while since I've done a book haul and because of that I have uh, 28 books here to show you, which is an excessive amount and I never usually buy this many books at one time, but I did. <laughs> Whoops. To kind of make myself feel better about the amount of books I bought, I actually bought like seven of these at full price. Otherwise all the other ones I bought at used bookstores or at library book sales for like 50 cents to two dollars each. So that's pretty good and I didn't really spend as much money as I it makes it look like I did. <laughs> Which is good for me. The majority of these books are pretty well known so I'm not going to explain them in very much detail just because I'm not going to waste your time. Um, there are a few that I haven't really heard much about elsewhere, so I will explain the plot and synopsises of those. So let's just get right into this because there is a lot of books here. The first book I got was The Silkworm by Robert Galbraith, which is the second book in the Cuckoo's Calling series. I have not read the first book yet, but um, I really, really have been meaning to. Yeah, I've heard awesome things about it. I mean... Yeah. Next book I got was just kind of a random one. This one is The Eleventh Plague by Jeff Hirsch. This one's like an older one. I had a lot of hype many, many years ago. It was actually on my TBR many, many years ago. But um, this one, my mom, she works at an elementary school and one of her co-workers brought in some books that people could take for free and she picked this one up for me. Um, I'm not really sure what this one's about. I'm guessing it's a dystopian, end of the world, apocalypse kind of book. Um, again, don't know much about it. It was on my TBR probably like five years ago, so not sure if I'm totally interested in reading it again, but maybe one day I will give this one a chance again. Next book I have, I actually bought this one at full price, is The City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare, which is the fifth book in the Mortal Instrument series. I've been slowly making my way through the series for about the past year and a half, so it's been taking me a long time. But um, yes, I already read this one, really enjoyed it. I'm excited to read the sixth book once I go and get it and conclude this series finally. <laughs> the next book I have is Magic Study by Maria Vishnay. This one is the second book in the Poison Study series. Again, this is one that I read Poison Study probably close to four years ago. I loved it. I don't know why I never completed the series, but um, I didn't. And this is the second book, finally got it. Um, I do plan on getting the third book and the final book in the series sometime soon so that I can reread Poison Study and then finish this series finally because I really did enjoy it. The next two books I have are Deadly Little Lies and Deadly Little Games by Lori Stollers. I can't read cursive, so sorry, I definitely did not say that right, but I... Does anyone else suck at reading cursive? I really suck at reading cursive. But anyways, these are two that I picked up. Um, I just saw them in a used bookstore. They're right next to each other. I had thought that Deadly Little Lies was the first book in the series. Turns out it's the second, and this is the third, so I can't even really read this series yet because I don't have the first book. But this was, again, one that was on my TBR probably many years ago, two years, three years ago, and I never picked it up. But I finally got them, and they have really, really pretty covers, and they're hardback, so couldn't really pass it up. And I will read this series eventually once I do finally pick up the first book. Next book I have is The Future of Us by Jay Asher and Carolyn Mackler. I've already kind of explained this one in my TBR. Um, this one is just about a girl it's set in 1996, I believe. Yes. Um, and she gets her very first computer and she logs on to AOL. And this website called Facebook pops up, which clearly Facebook wasn't made back in that time and she can kind of see her future and her friend's future and she starts to play with the future and yada yada yada. That's kind of what this one's about. I really enjoyed this one. Um, I thought it was a fun read, but yes, that's that one. Next book I have is actually a graphic novel and this is Deadly Class, um, The Regan Youth. I'm not really sure. Remender, Craig, and Law Ridge. I'm not sure who is the author, who is the illustrator. But yes, this was a random find at a library book sale. I've been wanting to get into more graphic novels lately or comic books, but I never really know where to start, and so I just saw this one, decided to pick it up. It was the first volume, so that's a start, and I'm excited about this one. It looks really interesting, it's really colorful, and um, yeah, I'm excited to read it. Next book I have is Big Little Lies by Lane Morardi, and I don't know too much about this one either. Um, my friend recommended it to me. She said she absolutely loved it. I believe it's about this pact of moms who have elementary age 
kids and um, they kind of gossip a lot and something happens within the school and they all start blaming each other and spreading rumors and it's just basically about a bunch of clicky moms but I've heard awesome awesome things about it and I'm very excited to read it. The next book I have is Room by Emma Donahue. I don't actually know too much about this one either. Um, obviously it was an Academy Award winner for a movie and I haven't seen the movie yet. I wanted to read the book first and so now I have the opportunity to do that and I'm very excited to read it. The next three books I have are from the same author. This is an author that I've wanted to get into for quite some time but I haven't really known where to start because he has so many books and I don't really know which ones would be up my alley and which ones I would really really enjoy. So I picked up three and hopefully these will work out for me very well. The first one I have is Bag of Bones by Stephen King. I don't know too much about this one but when I read the synopsis, which now I'm forgetting completely what it's about, but when I read the synopsis it sounded interesting and um, it was really cheap and so I decided I'd pick it up and give it a go. This book by Stephen King I got, I got It and this is one that I've been wanting to read for so long. Um, I saw parts of the movie when I was like 10 and it scared the crap out of me. Uh, when I was younger I was scared of everything, I was scared of my own shadow and now horror is one of my favorite genres and I just absolutely love it which is weird, I've completely transitioned and so I want to give it a go and read this book and then also see the movie and see what the heck I was so scared about. It's a very long book, which is like all of his books. All of his books are very long. But nevertheless, I'm very excited to read this one because who doesn't want to read about a killer clown? I don't know. <laughs> and the final book by Stephen King I got, I got Joyland. I'm not really sure much about this one. Um, again, it was a really cheap one, so I decided to pick it up and just kind of a way to kind of get segue myself into reading his books. I'm um, very excited to read this one also. I mean... Yeah, just very excited to read it. <laughs> the next book I have I picked up at a library book sale and this is Shadow and Bone by Leigh Bardugo. This one kind of has died down in hype but it was a few years ago a very 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 hype book. Um, it is one that I been had meant to read, never ended up picking up. Saw this one for 50 cents um, at my library and so I ended up picking it up and I'm excited to read it eventually. I'll probably wait until I get the rest of the series just so that I can read them all back to back and fly through them. And the next book I have is The Likeness by Tana French, which is the second book in the Murder Squad series. I might have gotten that wrong, but um, it's a mystery thriller. The first book is In the Woods. I really, really enjoyed In the Woods. I wasn't sure if I was going to complete the series just because it's a very long series. There's a lot of books out in it and I didn't love the first book and I didn't feel compelled to read the second book but I got this one for 50 cents also so I decided to pick it up and I will read. The next book I have is A Dance with Dragons by George R. R. Martin which is the fifth book in the Game of Thrones series. I'm only on the third book of Game of Thrones so I am not quite on this one yet but um, I really do need to finish this series. I I love this series, it's just a very big commitment to read the series, so I've kind of been taking it slow and just reading it as I go. The next book I have is Take Me On by Katie McGarry. This one was also one that I got for 25 cents at a library book sale. I read the first book, Pushing the Limits, in these companion novels by her quite some time ago. I enjoyed it, didn't love it, not as much as everyone else seemed to love it. I had quite a few problems with it. But um, yes, this is like the fourth or fifth book in the companion novels, I'm not really sure. So if someone could tell me if I need to read the other three before I read this one, or the other two, I don't even know what book number this is, if I have to read them or if it's okay if I just read this one without reading the other two because I don't know. I just picked it up because it was 25 cents and I thought maybe I would pick it up one time. The next one I have is Take Me There by Carolee Dean. Don't know much about this one either. Another one I got for 25 cents at a library book sale. Um, I believe it's just about your stereotypical bad boy meets good girl, good girl falls for bad boy, bad boy knows he's bad and doesn't want to be in a relationship with good girl because he doesn't want to ruin her life and so he runs away and then she follows him and then they fall in love and just your stereotypical contemporary romance novel. Big fan of after reading some heavy material just to pick up a light contemporary book that I can fly through and read in a day in one sitting. So yeah, even if it's stereotypical and it sounds really cliche, I'm excited to read it because sometimes you just really enjoy those books. The next book I have is Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. This is one that I bought brand new. I've already talked about it in my wrap-up. Um, really, really enjoyed this book. Very, very good. 
if you haven't heard about it. I don't know where you've been. It's a movie. It just came out. I saw it. It was fantastic. So yes, um, that's all I'm going to say about this because it's very well known. The next book I have is This Is Where It Ends by Mariki Nijkamp. Definitely butchered that. I already talked about this one in my wrap-up last month. It's about a school shooting. It's told in the perspective of four individuals, the shooter, and then three others. And it's just kind of their experience and what led up to the shooting and hour by hour, minute by minute of this shooting and just kind of their experiences with it. Yeah, like I said, I enjoyed it, had problems with it, but it was a good book. The next book I have is Losing Hope by Colleen Hoover. This is the companion novel to Hopeless by Colleen Hoover. I read Hopeless probably three and a half, four years ago, quite some time ago. Absolutely loved it. This book is told in Dean's person. I meant to read this one quite a while ago after I had read Hopeless. I didn't pick this one up for 25 cents at a library book sale. So now I have it. I will probably read it when I'm feeling in the mood for a light and fluffy book. Um, I love Colleen Hoover. Um, I absolutely fly through her books and she's just an awesome, awesome contemporary romance writer. The next book I have is The Murder in the Telephone Exchange by June Wright. This was a random one I just picked up uh, again at a library book sale. Um, I'm very excited about this one. This one I haven't heard anything about, but it sounds really, really interesting. This one takes place in 1948, um, kind of during the war where women are kind of taking over men's jobs. And so it's about this woman who gets a job in a telephone exchange booth. One of her co-workers, another female, shows up murdered and she's killed in the telephone exchange booth. This woman happens to be her friend and she feels like the detectives on the case are not doing their duty and they're not trying to solve this murder. So she starts looking into the murder herself and then another one of her friends in the telephone exchange also is murdered and she finds out that she's next on the list, so she needs to try to solve this murder before she dies. Yeah, that's basically all I know about this book. I'm very excited to read it. I will let you guys know how I thought about it, um, but yes, very excited about this one. The next book I have is one I'm also very, very excited about, and that is Innie Mini by MJ Ulrich. This book is about a serial killer who abducts two people, and he or she locks them in a room with only a gun, and either the only way to survive is either one dies and one lives, and yeah, that's just the sick and demented ways. This is about a young detective who is put on this case and she tries to solve it. She can't figure out who this serial killer is. She can't figure out why he's doing this, a motive, anything. She just cannot figure it out. And so she turns to the victims and the survivor of these abductions and she kind of starts digging into their experiences, what they remember and what was going through their mind during this to kind of get a better understanding of the serial killer. Um, very excited to read this one. That's basically all I know because there's not much, because it's an advanced reader's copy, so it's not much on the back. Just, yeah, very, very excited to read this one. It just sounds amazing. The next book I have is Blood Harvest by S.J. Bolton, the favorite author of all time, and I finally picked up a different one of her books. I've actually only read her Lacey Flint novels, which are right here if you can see them. Um, it's my absolute favorite series. I talk about it all the time. I rave about it, and if you haven't picked it up or you haven't heard about it, please go pick it up because it's so fantastic and it doesn't get enough rave about it as it should, so that's enough about that. Sorry. I always go on little tangents, but it's so, so fantastic. So this is one of her standalones. It is another horror mystery thriller. This book is told in the perspective of three different individuals. The first is a mother whose daughter two years ago went missing after their house was caught on fire and she still believes that her daughter is alive somewhere out in those woods. The second perspective is told in a 10 year old boy who recently moved to the town with his family. They live in a little farmhouse next to a graveyard because wouldn't be a horror book without a graveyard, right? And he starts hearing and seeing this little girl playing out in the woods and she kind of starts haunting him and his family and doing some crazy things to their their lives. He's trying to figure out what exactly it is she's trying to tell him. The third and final perspective is told in the perspective of a priest who also recently moved to the town and he starts receiving these threatening and menacing threats and he just doesn't feel welcome in the town and he's trying to figure out what secrets this town is trying to hide. Yeah, that's basically all I know about it. 
that's all I really need to know about it because I know I'll probably love it and I'm super 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 excited to read this one. The next book I have is Morrow by Taryn Fisher. I've talked about this one already in my wrap up. I absolutely loved it. This book is about a 19 year old girl who lives in this cursed and really really poor town called Bone and she lives with her mother who is very abusive and just an awful person. So she meets this boy next door named Judah who's in a wheelchair and they meet this young little girl, a seven-year-old girl I believe, who goes missing and they try to uncover the truth behind her missing self. Okay, that didn't make sense. But about her missing, about her being missing. Okay, get it out, Erin. What they find really changes Margot and she kind of becomes this vigilante and she starts targeting serial killers, rapists, child molesters, and she basically just starts killing them to try to rid the world of the awful. It's really, really fantastic, a really good read. It's really one of those books that really makes you think, and yes, I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love this book. Still thinking about doing a full book review on it, not 100% sure. But. The next book I have is Say Her Name by James Dawson, and this one is another horror book. This book is about two friends who get dared to look in the mirror and say Bloody Mary five times. Nothing happens, but a day later, all of a sudden, some spooky and haunting things start happening, and um, Bloody Mary starts showing up in their nightmares and starts haunting them, and she gives them five days before she is going to come for them for revenge. Yeah, that's basically all I know about it, but super, super excited to read this one. Um, yeah. You know what I'm just noticing? Like, half of these books are horror, mystery, thriller, and have really disturbing topics. I am a disturbed person. That's the conclusion that I've just come to. Yep. <laughs> yes, I really need to go and get some more light and fluffy books because I'm kind of worried about myself. But okay, anyways, yes, very excited to read this one. That's all I know about it. I'll let you know what I think about it, but very, very excited. And the final two books I have are Prisoner of Night and Fog and the sequel Conspiracy of Blood and Smoke by Anne Blackman Blankman by Anne Blankman. This one is one that I was super excited to read. This book takes place in Germany um, right before the rise of Hitler. It's just kind of like his upbringing and it is about this young girl named Gretchen who just so happens to be the honorary niece of Hitler and she spends a lot of time with him. She sees him as an uncle and she really really loves him until one day she gets this letter from this young Jewish reporter who kind of brings out this mystery of Hitler and he starts to bring out the true meaning and true being of Hitler and Gretchen really starts to second guess her love for this man and for her devotion to him and yeah it's just that's basically about it. I've already read the first book absolutely absolutely loved it. I'm currently reading the second one absolutely loving it so yes. It's like a historical fiction because it's all real true events besides that Gretchen and some of the other characters are made up, but then a lot of the other characters are true. It's just, it's really, really good. It's a good play with fiction and with historical. So those are the 28 books I have for this book haul, which is a lot. I've already actually kind of gotten through a little less than half of these books, um, but I have a lot more to go and I'm very excited about them. Um, if there's one that you see here that you would like to see me do a full book review on, you should let me know because I definitely, definitely would. So yeah, that is all I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later.